Now, this is a very quick video uh, because I saw this nonsense right here. The Myth of Fossil Fuels by Barry and Beacon. What this is about is they're talking about some information by a book that isn't published yet, although it is uh, available on um, Amazon.com for Kindle. And it's by Jerome Corsi and it's called The Great Oil Conspiracy. And what the blurb at the Amazon site says is, at the end of World War II, U.S. intelligence agents confiscated thousands of Nazi documents on what was known as the Fischer-Tropes process, a series of equations developed by German chemists unlocking the secrets of how oil is formed. When the Nazis took power, Germany had resolved to develop enough synthetic oil to wage war successfully, even without abundant natural oil reserves. For decades, those confiscated German documents remained largely ignored in the United States, where petrogeologists and petrochemists were convinced that oil was a fossil fuel created by ancient decaying biological debris. Clearly, big U.S. oil companies had no financial interest in explaining to the American people that oil was a natural product made on a continual basis deep within the earth. If there were only so many fossils in geological time, there could only be so much oil. Big oil could then change more for a finite, rapidly disappearing resource than for a natural, renewable, and probably inexhaustible one. Okay. Uh, they also, in, in the review, basically say that it... Uh, wasn't known about until after the war and that when all these Nazi documents were discovered this was all hidden from the American people as a conspiracy between our government and big oil. Well, years ago I took a number of classes in alternative energy including alternative fuels so I was familiar with the Fisher tropes process and this is nothing new. I mean, this the process was developed in 1920, well before the Nazis came into power, and was known about in Great Britain and the United States, uh, even in the 20s. So it wasn't discovered after the war, and certainly not hidden from the American public. Just, just to begin with here, let, let's take a look at a couple of things. Um, first of all, here's a uh, page from Google Patents. And you notice I put in Fisher Tropes and uh, I have the date range here up until 1940 and as you can see there are what 460 results for patents in the United States on the Fisher Tropes process but you can go over to Google Books and you can put in um, the Fisher Tropes process in Google Books and I I restricted the range again up until 1940 and look at this look at this here's the spectator uh, from 1932 and there are a number of other books you can do this yourself and go in and look and you'll notice if you look at the spectator here volume 149 is it yeah um, it talks about the Fisher tropes process from coal gas or coke solvents and the reason it never became popular is because it's expensive and the raw materials are either coal or natural gas which themselves are fossil fuels so this is just a load of crap. Totally ticked me off. Had to do a quick video on it. And of course the whole point of this is that uh, again they're trying to find some sort of excuse for creationism. Because if if oil is a fossil fuel, is it the remnants of ancient fossils, well then that, that conflicts with their story of the flood in the 6,000 year old world. Uh, so don't grab at anything, even this nonsense by Corsi who is a guy who also wrote a book about how uh, Obama isn't an American citizen and he's a complete jackass. Anyway, I look him up, you know, don't, don't, go, uh, don't go on my word for anything. You look up the Fisher Tropes process, you can see it in patents, you can see it in Google Books. Um, I don't know if Google Patents covers patents in Great Britain but uh, it would be worth a try for someone to check that out and see. So this is nothing new. They're just completely distorting information for their own purposes and to push their own particular religious agenda. Anyway, goodbye, and uh, thanks for listening and watching.